So what's going on everybody? So I want to show you guys how to unlock the bootloader for the Google Nexus 5 phone here and then root the Google Nexus 5. So that is my device here, the Google Nexus 5 and it has been recently just wiped out and factor reset done on it. So the very, very, very first thing you guys want to know is make sure that you save your emails, your contacts, your backups before doing something like this because it is going to destructively wipe out the phone entirely. So be very careful with that. This is a fully working phone. This is my normal daily driver, I guess you could say, phone. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to root this device. And the first thing you want to know that you need to do is go to All Apps go into the settings and you want to enable your developer options so come down here um, where it says printing and about phone if you don't see something in there listed saying developer options then you need to click about phone you need to scroll to the bottom where it shows the build number here and you want to click that about oh, seven times or so and it'll say you are now a developer okay you simply click back and you'll have developer options listed here between printing and about phone now go ahead and select that by default it's turned on you want to scroll down to where it says USB debugging debug mode when USB is connected check mark that it's just going to tell you that you, you know allow USB debugging yes and all that's going to allow it to do is communicate to the computer and be able to perform the stuff we want it to perform so once we have that enabled I'm going to go ahead now and connect it with the USB cable to my computer and it's going to prompt down at the lower right. I'm just using a standard uh, Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit computer. It's installing some drivers. Um, if you're following along and you're using the same sort of computer, you should have the same sort of prompts coming up at the lower right. It's just installing like default drivers for the phone. So I'll give it just a minute here. It says Android Composite ADB Interface installed successfully down at the lower right. You guys can't see it, but it says that on my screen. So at the top, you can check, and it'll say USB debugging connected. Okay? So once you get your phone all connected and set up to your computer, now what you want to do is go get the good stuff. Go to this website called Wugfresh, and then click the first link where it says wugfresh.com. And what we're looking to do is download the Nexus Root Toolkit. And this is absolutely awesome. And I did this for the Nexus 7 as well, if you guys didn't see those videos. So I'm going through the whole process again for the Nexus 5 phone. And what you want to do is come down to where it says download and download the toolkit. I'm using Google Chrome, so I should get something popping up here in the right lower left-hand corner. There it is. That would be the toolkit. The first thing we have to do with this toolkit is go through and unlock the bootloader to the phone. I'm going to go ahead and minimize my browser there. So this is just the default destination folder. Just really all you got to do is follow along with the prompts with this program. That's how good it is. It's it's really awesome, so Okay, it says here allow USB debugging. So what you want to do is check mark the box that says always allow from this computer. And then you're going to get something else prompting you here. It's your model type. This program actually has a feature here to auto detect. So go ahead and click auto detect if you're connected and it should come up with exactly exactly what you need. So all you have to do if you're this far, is click Apply. And I already have USB debugging mode enabled, so I'm going to click OK. And this is just some routine stuff that it's doing. Um, it is, you know, just download this stuff and follow along with the program. Click OK for the TWRP. And 
have to give it a minute there, depending on your guys' internet speed and my internet speed. Okay, that downloaded. Everything good there. Okay, so here we go. This is the Nexus Root Toolkit. Now, my phone's already been wiped out. The first thing you need, you need to do here is unlock the bootloader and note before you root your device. So click unlock, just follow the prompts. You guys can pause the video if you want to read that or if you're just doing it yourself. Take your time and read through this stuff. Again, these guys offer a, a huge amount of support. So down here in the bottom, it says lock state. It's locked. So we're currently going to change that to unlocked. Fast boot device was not found. It needs to be in bootloader mode and connected to your computer via USB. If you guys get a prompt like this, all you have to do what is unplug it and give it a sec. Plug the USB cable back in and give it a second. And then click OK to try again. And it'll say checking fast boot status. Device connected. All right, so here's our screen. Unlock the bootloader. This voids the warranty, you guys, so be careful here. It's all, you know, I don't know if I mentioned that in the very beginning, but this stuff, like I said, the very first time you do this, when you unlock the bootloader at this point, it's going to erase all your data, and it is going to be kind of in like a void the warranty type of state. So you want to be careful with all this. However, I'm going to do another video showing you guys how to go through and unroot and flash the stock firmware and we're going to relock the bootloader so it would be back to factory condition and if you had to you could send it in for warranty repair so just use the volume keys over here and choose yes and press the power button to select it now you can see down here it says unlocked secure boot enabled it says they're unlocked and it's going through and doing a few other things now there's a little lock that pops up down here. It shows it to be unlocked. It just says here, wait for it to finish booting up. And just go ahead and click OK. Then you just have to sit back and wait. I'm not going to edit this video. I mentioned that in several of my videos because that way you guys can follow along. If something was to pop up on yours and it didn't on mine, then you know that wouldn't be right. So it's better just to let this thing roll right on through. There's our Google logo and it has a little lock down here. And it's a little blurry on my camera, but it's on a lock that shows it to be unlocked. This is going to boot back to the welcome screen now and I'm gonna have to enter in my stuff to get back in there and I'm gonna have to go through the process again of enabling the USB debug mode which is gonna make you know I have to go back through that process then of adding in the developer options and then enabling that and I may have to unplug it from my device like unplug the cable one more time and plug it back in so it redetects everything before I go through and root using this program I would kind of in general say that this probably takes about 5 to 15 minutes depending on how you're making out with it and what kind of errors you may be running into. Alright, so we're at the welcome screen. Let me get through this real quick. Enter in my passcodes. Well, let me try that again. I think it may have entered the wrong one. I have two networks. All right, let's try that. 
obtaining IP address. All right, here we go. I'm going to tell it I don't have an account. You guys, I'm just doing that for the video. I do have an account, but this is going to allow us to get back in where we need to be. Let me enter in my info again here. All right. Finish. Couple pop-ups. The first thing I want to do is go in and change the display not to shut off on you guys so you can continue to watch. Okay, so here's here's what you need to do now. Uh, we unlock the bootloader. So you got to go back in to your settings, come down to about phone, come down to where it says build number. You need to click on that and become a developer again. You're now a developer. Click back. So you want to have those options available again where it says developer options. Go ahead and select it. It's on by default. Come down and select USB debugging. Tell it OK. Check mark the box here that says always allow from this computer to allow USB debugging. Tell it OK. Now that went through pretty good so I don't have to unplug it and plug it back in. So now we're all set and connected again and the toolkit here should be able to communicate with the Nexus 5. So now just select custom recovery and click root. Now we're going to go through the root process. We're going to root your Google Nexus 5. So we're about 11 minutes into this. Some of you guys may have already had your phone unlocked and you could actually start here so it probably takes really about five minutes. But I get a lot of people emailing me about how to how to do this step by step so this is the best I could come up with to show you how to do this Actually, I'm not going to touch it because I think it goes through another process of restarting here. It says waiting for your device. I just didn't want the screen to shut off. But you can really just let it go until it, and follow the prompts here. There you can see it says pushing root files to your device. And of course, let me hold it up and see if you can see what it says there. Probably really nothing to watch, watch there in the fast boot mode, but flashing custom recovery, just some stuff going on on here in the screen. getting another prompt at the lower right of my computer it says installing some more driver software information says rooting waiting for your device now it's doing upgrading back at the desktop I'll wait here and see what other what else pops up on the screen because we're just about done here. Should be pretty much rooted. Device detected. So to finish the process, check to make your successfully rooted. Actually, it tells you what to do here. Open the uh, super user su. It may prompt you. Just follow the instructions here, guys. Any binaries? Make sure to disable open BusyBox. Grant the app permissions when it requests permissions. Let me go in here and turn my, just so we're clear on everything. Let me make sure I can turn this up, up to 30 minutes so it doesn't shut off on me. So right now my phone is rooted, but there's a couple of things on the, the pop-up screen here you want to do. Um, open BusyBox installer. 
So I'm going to open that and I'm going to grant permissions because I think it goes through. I'm going to X out of that. It goes through here and it does a lot of updating. And it says then you want to grant the app super user permissions. And it, under where it says under on the computer desktop screen here, it says will be installed to. Press the system bin and switch it to system X bin. Optional but not recommended. So I'm going to do it. And what they're talking about is this little box right here. I'm just going to choose X bin out of the list here. So I changed that. And then you can press install and just do a normal install. Go back to the home screen. Basically, just follow the directions on the screen. So now it's rooted. So that's it, guys. There's the Nexus 5 rooted and ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.